Hi, everyone. I'm Nina Gradia. I'm a somatic experiencing practitioner on the non-dual path. Today, I want to talk about the somatics of hoarding. So you may be wondering, what does somatic experiencing have to do with something like hoarding? Well, quite a lot. And that is because we store attachments to seemingly external objects internally in the body. And when we are liberating ourselves and we are giving away objects, this is actually forcing us to feel emotions that come up in the body as a result of the loss. Sometimes you're not even going to know that you had an attachment to an object until you're dropping it off at the thrift store. And then you might feel it at that moment or when you're driving away. Getting rid of stuff is liberation work. So when we're accumulating lots of things, we have to kind of look at why am I doing this? Is there a trauma that I have that when I accumulate things, when I go shopping, it kind of covers it with a Band-Aid? And then when I can't, I have to feel the loss and it might pull up a trauma from the past. So if I grew up with feeling a lot of scarcity and like I didn't have basic needs met, facing that in this present environment can pull that up for me in my body. And when that comes up, that feels scary for me. And in order to not feel that, I could cope with a compensatory behavior. Or perhaps I have a trauma around not feeling like I was enough. But if I had that object, or if I looked this way, then I would be enough. So instead of dealing head on and facing the feeling of unworthiness or shame, we can use these behaviors and objects to cover up feelings. And it's going to still come up because there's going to be a moment where you can't. There's going to be something that you can't 100% account for. And that is going to cause this to you know, be felt. And as this feeling arises within you, you can welcome it and feel it through and employ some of the somatic experiencing techniques on this channel. And as it releases, you will notice that you won't have the same kind of attachment to whatever object or behavior that it was. And sometimes you need to clear many different angles around a certain theme. So you can think of it like a trauma tree. And so we're clearing different branches of a similar theme. So if this is like unworthiness, and then I feel unworthy if I can't wear a certain kind of clothing or if my hair doesn't look a certain way and you can clear each of these things and then maybe that leads into something that happened in childhood and then I clear that. And so the more I'm clearing around this theme of unworthiness, it's gonna start shrinking. There's gonna be less material and more space that you can hold it in your container. So you can kind of start exploring like, why am I holding on to some object? Maybe something is sentimental and I haven't gotten over somebody in the past that's not there anymore. And if I were to get rid of that, then it feels like they're really gone. Then I have to feel the loss that I haven't been wanting to fully process. So this can go in so many directions, but as we ask ourselves, you know, is this functionally necessary in my life, this object that I have? or Marie Kondo's, you know, famous, does this bring me joy? You can start to see if it's necessary or is it just an attachment? And you'll notice as you get rid of these attachments and you face the pain that comes up and you process it, you'll feel so much lighter. And it's not really about the objects. It's about what they're helping us not feel inside. That's where we want to start digging and finding the things that we no longer need there. So it seems like I'm doing external cleaning of house, but it's actually internal cleaning of house as well. And so as we clear out all the impressions and emotions stored in the body, you're still going to have emotional experiences. We're not trying to get rid of feeling. We're trying to help feelings that are stuck in the body just come up and express themselves, which is all they wanted to do. And when they do that, they're no longer jam-packed in the body. You have a lot more space. The mind settles down because it only gets kicked up with attachments. So the more attachments we're clearing from the body, the mind is going to be more at peace and we're going to have a lot more presence. I will link here a video I did on attachments earlier that will go into this topic a little bit more. But with the hoarding, it's usually some sort of trauma 
or some sort of ego attachment to objects, to belief systems, to ideas. And so once you explore the specific one that might be up for you, even if you're not hoarding, you're just a little cluttered, this can be so helpful. Once you clear the emotion, you might have incredible ease getting rid of things that you don't need anymore. So I hope this helps. This is just one component of liberation work. Liberation work also includes rewriting our conditioning or programming. So once we've deprogrammed, trying to reprogram, and I will make a future video on this as well. So if you are not sure what I'm referring to when I say liberation work, um, I will link here a video about self-realization and liberation. And so these are the two uh, categories that my teacher talks about the non-dual path. So self-realization, knowing who I am, infinite consciousness, I can't be separate, and then liberation work is the somatic work. So self-realization work is at the mind level, the understanding, the seeing, and then the liberation work is at the body level, where once my mind is calm, it's a lot easier to clear a lot of attachments. But many people start with the liberation side, and that's okay too. It's kind of nice to go back and forth as needed. So we clear these attachments in the body, and then the mind becomes very still. And so you can't really do one without the other eventually. You're going to eventually need to go to the other one. So feel free to watch that video to get a little bit more background. And I will be making more videos about liberation work specifically. But in general, the whole somatic channel, somatic experiencing is liberation work in this non-dual context. So I hope this helps. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you had this experience getting rid of objects and then feeling the corresponding feeling. This is one of my favorite topics. I'll see you soon. Take care.